What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Your boy, the Dreadman, is back. And I know that I've been putting this off for a while, but I'm going to give you guys my Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3 prediction. Fight's coming up this Saturday. And um, the fight fight one was, to me, was a hell of a lot better than the first one, even though the second one ended kind of the way I thought it would, but in reverse. Anyway, just a premise of this fight. Now, as far as the overall heavyweight picture and rankings is, is concerned, this fight means more for Deontay Wilder than it does for Tyson Fury. I mean, because Tyson Fury, win, lose, or draw with this fight, he has other options. He has other avenues, other directions that he can go in as far as opponents and outside of boxing. I mean, even though that AJ just lost to Alexander Usyk, much deserved because that's what happens when you overlook your opponent. But yes, he can fight Usyk. He can take the AJ fight if he wanted to. Hell, he can even go for a part four with Wilder if he wants to. Dep like I said, but it depends. But to me, this is the end of the road for Wilder. Wilder really has nowhere else to go but down after this fight. Like I said, because nobody's really going to want to see the AJ fight. And the Usyk fight would kind of be, eh. Like, the thing is, it, it, the thing is, those two kind of really don't match up. And maybe he could fight um, Andy Ruiz. Maybe. But like I said, there's no big money or big name fight that a lot of people would want to see Deontay Wilder fight. Like I said, this is the end all be all for him. But uh, anyway, let's just match up the opponents. Tyson Fury. We all know what the man can do in the ring. He's probably one of the most talented and gifted heavyweight boxers in recent memory. And you got Deontay Wilder, who a lot of people call Mr. One Dimensional. But Lord have mercy. He has what's called the equalizer. He has the golden gun. He has a nuke in the form of a straight right hand. But that's the problem. You know, his, his greatest strength is also his biggest weakness. Tyson Fury, he's versatile. And, and the thing is, a lot of people say that, you know, when you have an upright style, you know, it, it, it makes it not a fun match to watch. But thing is, in, in the heavyweight division, a, a knockout can really happen anytime. So there's always that. And, and stacking the two up, like I said, with Deontay Wilder, with his relying mostly on his athletic ability and with... Um, with Tyson Fury just relying, he's he has athletic ability too, especially for a man his size. He also has boxing skills. Deontay Wilder does not have as many weapons as Tyson Fury does. Tyson Fury has ring generalship. His defense is very, very good. And the thing is, he is amazingly agile for a man his size. Like, you know, being able to move and slip and dodge punches and as good as his defense is to be at six foot nine up in the neighborhood of 250 pounds, 260 pounds, that is amazing, and like I said, as far as weapons, you know, his straight right hand is good, his jab is good, he actually works the body, and he actually goes in with a strategy and with a plan, a lot of people may or may not like his style of fighting, but I mean, if you're a boxing head, then you can appreciate what he does in the ring, now, keys to victory, for Tyson Fury, there's three keys to victory. One, pop him with the jab. You, when, when you pop him with the jab, especially if your jab is quick, you can disrupt him and not let him get set. Don't let him plant his feet for that big power shot. Second is cut off the ring against him because if you cut off the ring, then you don't give him a chance to load up. And the more you hit him, the more that he breaks down over time because a lot of people have been calling Deontay Wilder's chin questionable. They've been calling it suspect. And the third thing you want to do is you want to get him tired. Use your weight to your advantage. Deontay Wilder relies on knocking his opponents out quick. His stamina in the later rounds, like from rounds eight and on, if you drag it out that long, his stamina is not that good. So his the thing is, like I say, his power... His, you know, that one-punch knockout power can come at any time, but the chances reduce more and more once you go on to, in the later rounds. Like I said, it's still there. I mean, as long as he's got that right hand, he's got a shot. Now, keys to victory for Deontay Wilder. The first key is he does not utilize this, but he needs to go to the body. You need to light that rib cage up. You need to work that bread basket. You don't, Deontay Wilder does not utilize body attacks, but he needs to utilize the body to, you know, make, you know, to give him a different look. 
And he also needs to open up his, you know, punches a little bit more. He needs to throw more hooks. He needs to throw more uppercuts. Like, and he also needs to utilize his jab as well. But don't utilize it to the point where you leave yourself open. Because everybody's already saying that your defense and your chin is questionable. Second thing that he needs to do is he needs to not chase after Tyson Fury. Do not get, if, if you stun him with the jab or if you hurt him with that straight right hand, don't rush in. Save and conserve your enemy. I mean, save and conserve your energy. Let him come to you. If that punch happens, it happens. Do not force it. Third thing he needs to do is, on top of conserve his stamina, is that he needs to counter his straight a little bit more. I think he's probably only uh, an inch and a half. I think um, Tyson Fury only has like maybe an inch and a half reach advantage over him, which is why I say that if Tyson, if uh, Deontay Wilder wants a shot at winning, he needs to catch him coming in as far as reaching out and, you know, punching. You know, you, the thing is, let him come to you. But with all that said, it would be a very, very big surprise to me if this went the distance. I see a the thing is, like, I kind of do want to play it safe and say Tyson Fury by decision because I think that's what the most likely thing is to happen. I mean, but the thing is, if I'm going knockout, I'm probably going to go... I'm going to go Wilder, not, if, if, if it ends in a knockout, I'll go Wilder around 6th or 7th round, but if I'm going decision, I'll go Tyson Fury, but I'm leaning more towards Tyson Fury by decision. Anyway, you guys let me know what's up, y'all comment below who you got winning the fight and how and in what round. I'm out guys, thank you guys for watching, I'll be back soon, peace.